Podcasts on unctv.org are made possible through the financial contributions of viewers like you, who invite you to join them in supporting UNCTV. For more than 30 years, Roy Underhill has inspired traditional woodworking enthusiasts with his popular public television show at the Woodwright Shop. Well, now students of all abilities can learn directly from the master at Underhill's newly opened Woodwright School. David Hubbard travels to downtown Pittsburgh for a lesson in Woodworking 101. The weirdness is just beginning. Who needs a pencil? Anybody? Get a pencil, get a pencil. That'll be fascinating for the viewers. It's Saturday morning, and class is in session at the Woodwright School in Pittsboro, North Carolina. Today's teacher, none other than Mr. Woodwright himself, Roy Underhill. Tell me about, have dovetails been good to you, John, in your life? For over 30 years, Underhill has shared the joys of traditional woodworking with public television viewers. Hello again. Welcome back to the Woodwright Shop. I'm Roy Underhill. So glad you could be with me again today. And oh, oh, look. And these days, aspiring woodworkers can put down the remote and pick up the chisel as they belly up to the bench at the newly opened Woodwright School. This is pairing. That's what you're doing. This is a lost technique. Today is the basic language of woodworking, of joinery. So dovetails, it's connect casework. Uh, the drawers for obviously you know within the casework so they're gonna have the basic language and that's that's what people need to build on so that's why I really like teaching the Woodwright School offers a variety of courses ranging from today's class on dovetails to a six-day workshop where students build their very own Windsor rocking chair in one single class you can have folks who just had you know really have a difficult time keeping to the straight line uh, Cutting within the lines and stuff like that. Hopefully, I'm doing right by you, Roy. <laughs> and folks who just uh, have perfect mastery of this technique. In every one of them, whether they're expert or this is the first time they've done it, they're all tapping into something deep inside. Just some great basic things that, that I had, even though I've done some of this before, uh, I'll be doing a lot better as a result. Listen closely and you'll notice there are no machines humming in this classroom. Just hand-powered tools chiseling through the wood. This is emergent working. It's different from machine work. Machine work, you make a whole bunch of pieces and a whole bunch of pieces, and they're made to a degree that they all fit together. In this one, you make one piece and then lay it on the second piece, transpose the, the uh, measurements, and then fit the two together. So this piece emerged in its measurements from this one. And so, so furniture or this kind of work, it, it grows from one piece to the next rather than being assembled. Venture upstairs and you'll discover a wide collection of antique woodworking tools, from draw knives to broad axes to planes that date back to the 18th century. Got this plane over here is really interesting. These uh, plow planes, well, they're fairly common. But this one was made by John Green in York, England, between 1768 and 1808. We have at least four generations of the Moore family, passed down from father to son to son to son on a 200-year-old plane. That's interesting, Ed. But most people who shop here are looking for working tools, not just collectibles. And they're tools. They aren't going to get any better sitting on a shelf. <laughs> Go ahead and use them. The Woodwright philosophy encourages students to partner with their tools to create one-of-a-kind personal items. The wood is a partner with you to the degree that you want it to be. So you use different tools that right. allow the wood to participate as go. much as you want. This is my chisel. There are many like it, but this one is mine. I shall serve it as it shall serve me. But you're always listening to the tool. You're listening to the steel through the wood, whether it's chattering, you're listening to the grain, whether you're running against the grain or with it. And, you know, gosh, if you can't, you can smell it, you can feel it. It's your whole body is in tune with this material. Oh. The most important <laughs> lessons at the Woodwright School go deeper than traditional joinery techniques. Underhill believes there's a craftsman in each of us. Everybody's had an ancestor that was a woodworker. Doesn't matter who they are, it just go, it's, in, it's in our blood as human beings, making things out of wood. 
and no matter how skilled they are, they're still reconnecting with that thing that's very deep inside them. The Woodwright School is located at 89A Hillsborough Street, one block up from the Courthouse Circle in Pittsburgh. For detailed information, go to woodwrightschool.com. Podcasts on unctv.org are made possible through the financial contributions of viewers like you, who invite you to join them in supporting UNCTV.